Hi guys, got a request from King School 9 to do a car powered by a tape measure. Well, I've got a few tape measures here. These ones would be useless because they really don't pull back in very fast at all. In fact, not at all. This one's a bit fancy. I don't know if it still works. It's been in the garage for ages. No, it doesn't look like it works. Uh, that one you have to press the release button to get it to go back in again. And even then it's not that good. It's got spirit level in there as well. And a calculator. I don't think I've ever used that. Uh, then we've got these two. I think this one came from Poundland. It's got quite a nice pull to it. That one's similar. It looks like that's the, st the stronger pull. So we'll use that one. What I'll do is attach a little bit of uh, string to the end of it so the string actually wraps around the back axle and then it should pull itself along. Uh, that's not very strong but it might work. Um, I did do a video a long time ago using one of these. This is for hanging baskets. It's the same sort of thing. That one's quite a bit stronger. If I remember, I'll put a link in the video description to the video where I did that one. Next we need a car. So I'll use one of my ones that I've made before and just convert it. Um, and this one's got lots of hooks on the back axle, you don't need all of them, you just need one to attach the cotton to. Wheels are made from CDs with plastic bottle tops or caps glued in the middle. Uh, that one's actually got a bit of rubber around it to give it extra grip. That's cut from a rubber glove, which is handy to know. They make good tyres for CDs because they're just the right size. You can cut up a balloon to do the same thing. Front wheels, it just happens that the glues come loose on this one. The other one's okay. They're different size bottle caps to the those wheels, but it's just a demonstration you can use any size you like. I can either hot glue that one back on or, for demonstration purposes, you could tape one on. Uh, I could stick a bit of foam on there. Either glue it or tape it in place. It doesn't need to be that big, I could cut it down a bit, that would help. Uh, that's hardboard, it's thick hard cardboard. Yeah, I might use a bit of that for now, just for demonstration purposes. Oh, that's damp. That's been out in the garage, obviously got wet. Oh, <laughs> I was getting carried away there. I was thinking this was my cutting board. It's not. That's just cork. Anyway, I can probably get that off easily enough. Some scissors somewhere. That knife's pretty blunt. I've been using it for cutting opening, cutting, cutting. That's a good word. Cutting open aluminium cans, so it's lost all its sharp edge. All right. 
So, a bit of card like that, that, and a bit of tape. Uh, this happens to be bright duct tape. You don't need bright duct tape. Okay, that should hold it in place. And if I can find my tool with a point on it, braddle as it's called, very handy to have, but an ordinary nail with a sharp point on it would do. We need that to be there. So now that one, push that through those holes that are there already. And through there. Oh, that's a good tight fit. Okay, so there you go. You don't need hot glue to attach your CDs to your axle. A bit of tape will do the job. I'm doing that because I had that was another question I had recently. So bits of cardboard would do, just tape them over the outside. Right, next thing we need to do is attach that onto there. I'll put a bit of cardboard across the top and then hot glue that onto it. Pull that down the back. And we need some uh, cotton. And there's no point in having that just like that because it's going to catch there so it would be better to go underneath. like that. Right, up together. I actually took out that central bracing piece so that we could just run this straight up along here. Um, tied a bit of string on it. Got a loop on the other end. Oh, hot glued that bit of hardboard on there and hot glued the tape measure to that so that's all held in place. Loop on there. You'll notice the length means that it'll just come off when it gets to the other end. So with a bit of luck it might freewheel a little bit. So we can just hook that on to one of these pegs. You don't need all those pegs there, that was for a different project. There we are, so if I lift that up, yeah, it might work. It's not very strong. It's also very heavy at the front end. That's quite a heavy tape measure. Is it going to go? Hmm. Might need to lubricate something or reduce the friction somewhere. Is it 
Give it a go. Let's go in. And it's freewheeling. Yeah, we did the distance. Well, the only little trick I did there to get it going, just put the camera down, was when I wound it up. Can you see this? I wound it up so it built up quite a big ball of string in the middle which would be like making the axle thicker which gives it more leverage so that was enough to get it moving once it was moving it was all right this is what I'm talking about this quite a thick ball of string so the first winds to come off it or turns to come off it are actually quite wide or the diameter of them is quite wide gives them more leverage to get the wheels turning once it's moving it's all right but you could probably try spraying a bit of uh, lubricant of some sort in there just have to remember that some lubricants will soak into the bamboo uh, axle and actually increase the friction rather than reduce it so don't get carried away with the idea of lubricating test your lubricant somewhere else first not on the actual car you want it to work with Normally I put little bits of um, drinking straw like that to keep the wheels away from the bodywork. I could do that, that might help. There we are, a couple of bits of drinking straw to keep the wheels away from the bodywork so they don't rub on the sides. So that should reduce the friction a bit. Whoa, I thought it was going to stop then. Yep, that worked. We didn't quite make it all the way, but that'll do, it works. Summary time. Well, it works. With a longer body, obviously, you could pull more of the tape measure out. So you should be able to go much further with it. I mean, I've got a 7.5 meter tape there, and we're using, well, <laughs> let's just measure that. 
we're using about 30 centimeters. Yeah, there we are, that's where it goes up to. Just the thir first 30 centimeters, whereas we could be using 7.5 meters. Although I'm not quite sure how that would look on the axle with all that string wrap around it. But in principle, it works. So that was, what was his name? King School 9. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.